Hey guys, I'm back, and you can tell by this tape that I just cut and realized I wasn't even filming because I have not been in a good headspace lately. But um, don't worry, I didn't take I didn't take anything out of the box yet, so we're good. But I just uh, using my newly shined up and oiled and maintenanced favorite Higo. Uh, cut through the tape of barrel and blade. There you go. There's a simulation for August 2021. They look really good when you take care of them, you know? Uh, anyway, here we are. Level 2, Barrel and Blade, August 2021. Oh, I love hybrid light stuff. They make good stuff. They do. Operation 50, are we at 50 already? Lights out. Ironic, because right now, you probably won't hear it, we have a storm raging outside, and I just got a tornado alert or warning or whatever the hell on my phone telling me to take shelter immediately. But here I am doing a video. So let's get all the stuff out of the box and get started, shall we? All right, so there's already looking at the stuff, there's already some, some things that I'm, I know I like, some things I've seen before and some things that are new and I'm excited to take a look at. Just real quick, for those who don't know, in Barrel and Blade you've got two levels, level one, level two. Level two is the bigger level, a little more expensive. Um, so sometimes there's just more items than in level one. Sometimes there are better versions, uh, fancier versions than what comes in level one. Let's see. So it looks like this month we just get more stuff, which has been the trend lately. Uh, it used to be cool, like, you know, you'd get like a knife in level one, but like a better knife in level two or stuff like that. We haven't seen that in a while. Lately, it's just been more stuff in level two than level one. So we're doing the level two unboxing. And we are going to start with... The Hybrid Light Atlas Camping Lantern and Charger, which they say has a value of $59. Now, Hybrid Light is cool because all their stuff is waterproof and usually has a solar panel on it so it can charge outdoors. But it usually also has the option for indoor charging as well. And we've gotten hybrid lights in uh, multiple different boxes before, and we, we personally in this family have used a lot of their stuff multiple times in real life, and all of them work great. They're all really good stuff. Um, this has kind of like a rubberized coating on it, so you have kind of a grip to it. Here is your, what is this, 5 volt input? Well, I'd say in and output, right? Um, so you can charge it up by the wall, charge it up by solar, uh, my little carry handle. It's probably not charged right now, but what the hell, let's try. Oh, it does have a little bit of a charge. Let's turn off some lights here and take a look. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And um, I think now third mode is flashing. So that's bright just to look at, but like, to light up a, an area, like a little work area around you, that's not bad. Like I could do the rest of the unboxing right here by lantern light if I wanted to and you could see all the stuff. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a blinking mode. I don't know how fast, so if you're like, you know, you don't want to look at blinking lights, don't look at blinking lights. Oh, this is the highest mode, by the way. So, let's see. Blinking light mode. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Um, and like I said, all their stuff is, well, if not completely waterproof, it's at least like weatherproof, you know? These things hold, it says this holds a charge for seven years once you fully charge it up. Like, so you can charge these and put them away and just wait for an emergency or just take them camping or whatever. And then you can charge other devices from these. They, they function as, as power banks, which is uh, pretty cool too. This has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in it. I really like hybrid light stuff. It's good. Although mine seems, is this broken? Or is this supposed to be like this? I don't know. No, I feel like it's supposed to be like this. I feel like this is intentional. So this is cool. This would go and I like it. Use, actual useful stuff and a good brand. Um, oh, and then we have hybrid light following right up. We actually have one of these already from who I don't remember, but we use it. Aiden uses it more than I do, actually. So this is the Hybrid Light Hex Bluetooth Speaker and Charger. $69, 
I'm sorry, I said $89. This is $59, an MSRP of $59. This has an MSRP of $69. I'm pretty sure we can find this for cheaper, but I can tell you that Aiden uses this all the time with his little laptop because he likes to watch, he likes to play, um, he likes to play Xbox and then like look up gamer videos on his on his laptop, like when he's trying to learn tricks and stuff. And he'll he'll do the Bluetooth through the speaker that he'll put under his chair. I don't know, but it's his system. And he uses the other one. In fact, hang on. Look, I'm not even gonna pause the video. I'm not gonna cut. It's like literally just show you. I'm not lying. It's right here because this is right across from where the TV is, where he plays. So it's like in use in real life. Um, and the sound quality is pretty good. Um, and this one, now is this one charged up as well? I should turn off the lights, I guess, again, so you can see the light effect on this. So it has lights. Where's the little button? It has directional light. And it has a little handle so that you can hang it lantern-wise if you're gonna lantern hang, like if this was right here. Um, not the brightest. It gets brighter if you hold on the button. And then here we are at like, not bad if you hang it sort of right over your workspace and you're looking at stuff. I mean, again, I could do this whole unboxing video under the light of this thing. Uh, it'll light up your immediate workspace and g give you that. Um, or like in a tent, you know, especially if you have like that the nylon that sort of reflects light back, it'll work pretty well. It's not gonna light up an entire area for you, but your immediate, like right in front of you, it'll light up and it'll do it pretty nice. So it blinks like that to tell you that's as bright as it gets. And then it doesn't, it doesn't go back down. You gotta press the button to turn it off. And then, well, it rotates to the directional light anyway. And then it's off again. So it's it's not a bad, again, weatherproof. Uh, I don't know if you would like dip it in water, you know, soak it, but it can get rained on and stuff. Um, has an FM radio in there, uh, 400 lumens. I think they're both 400 lumens maximum light. But uh, you, so you could Bluetooth through it. It has an FM radio built in. Um, and then you could put a little SD card in it or like a, an aux wire. Um, so again, I, you know, I don't, I think you could find it for less than $69, but quality wise it's not bad it's not bad and we actively use one here right now um, and it it works pretty well so not bad have i said not bad enough i like this i do i do i like it so it's gonna go in and i like it with this other guy right there so that's nice to see i'm happy two items that are good awesome oh but that's okay because we're gonna follow it up with this thing the Gerber Pry Brit. Hey, you want to see what else is funny? Reaching right over to my left. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this thing is. I think it, it's a good idea. It's an interesting idea, especially if you like. You know, you carry box cutters and everything. If like that's a lot of people use this kind of stuff at work, and it combines a standard. Well, we say standard, but we learned with uh, this little dude. Um, the Gerber Prybrid X that they say standard, but they really only mean Fiskars only blades, okay? And I have a feeling that if we tried to switch this with anything but a Fiskars utility blade, we'd have the same problems. Um, so it might share the same problem with um, using, let's see if it even says that on here. Designed in Oregon, full-size utility blade. I feel like reading through the whole thing. Then again, the other, the private X didn't say on there either. But so you can see it's got all these different things on it. And so they say that this is a wire stripper in there. I don't know. I've been told it doesn't work too well as a, as a wire stripper. But, um, you know, you can pull nails with it. You can actually pry with it because it is a solid piece of stainless steel. So if you need a little pry bar in there, yeah, you got a bottle opener. Yay. You can kind of use this as, as, a, as a screwdriver, sort of, but the whole idea is to use this as the pry bar instead of using a knife, so you don't break your knife. Um, and then you've got a cord cutting notch built right in, so that you know you can use that to cut various cords. It's just basically the blade of the utility blade here. Um, and then you've got these G10 scales that are put on there. It's got a little bit of weight to it, and the blade locks into position, um, forward and back. You just 
push the button and slide it, and then you slide it all the way out to switch the blade. And it's it's not a hard process to switch the blade. You open that little nub up and slide the new blade in. $25, uh, I feel like is about what I paid for this one from like Target or something like that. Um, eh. If you're somebody that uses utility blades, it's a nice solution because it kind of combines different things into one. However, if it is like the other one and it only accepts one brand of utility blades, then you're kind of hampered by having to find that brand of utility blade and only that brand of utility blade to um, to refill it. And you know what? Let's just, while we're here, while we're doing it, so these are just another brand. These are not Fiskars. Let's, um, these are just cheap replacement brands, probably from China or something, that I have for just utility blade, another utility blade holder I have. Let's try it out. Let's, let's, do, let's run through the, the thing right now to see. So you open this up, you pull this up, and then the blade slides out. And uh, oh, lo and behold, you know what? I might have spoken too soon. But I often have to eat my words on this channel, and I'm okay doing that because you know what? I'd rather we check this out now here and know how this works for the sake of other people. All right, I take it back. You know what? This works with just any old utility blade because these are definitely not the more expensive Fiskars brand. These are just generic ones that came from China. China with another utility holder that I'm, I'm actually going to show you guys someday. So you are not limited to uh, any one specific brand on this like you are the Private X. Okay, I feel a lot better than it then. Um, so if you are somebody that needs to carry, you know, utility, a box cutter or something, it's comfortable. Another tornado warning, probably. I have to, I have to take shelter now and check media. It's so it's like I was saying, it's comfortable. It's uh, not inconvenient. It's certainly a lot smaller than than this traditional big box knife, you know, box cutter knife. Um, I don't know. It you know you can take it or leave it. Um, I'm not going to put it in like it. I'm not going to put it in don't like it. Uh, you guys will see this other kind of cool box cutter thing I'm, I have lined up soon. I, w I would probably put this in a meh because it's, it's not quite a knife. It's not really not a knife. Um, you know, and we talked about the value of, of having to maintain a blade versus just um, replacing a, a disposable blade before. There are a lot of people that will find a value in this. Uh, quick and easy and replaceable. You can always just switch, you know, flip the blade around, reverse it when, when it's time to switch it. So you get kind of double use out of the blades, too. But I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. I, I don't, I'm personally not a huge fan of it. Um, I, I'd rather get a, a good steel that I maintain, but that's me. I mean, th when you're good at sharpening stuff, you don't mind so much. There are a lot of people that just don't know how to do it. And that's not a problem. That's not a knock on them. Not everybody learns how. For some people, this is great. This is all you need, uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at that. Next, let's look at the Night Eyes Rechargeable Glow Stick with an MSRP of $6. I'm gonna have to do a lot of lights on, lights off for this. So here we go. Night Eyes also tends to make some pretty good gear, um, pretty good stuff. I've used a lot of it, deployed. I don't wanna talk about deployed right now. Ooh, it's flexible. It feels like a glue stick. It's like a big glue stick. I should feed it into the glue gun and see what happens. Um, recharges in approximately an hour and a quarter with micro USB cable, but USB cable's not included. Um, it's waterproof to a meter. It works for eight hours and 30 minutes. Are there more instructions on the inside? There usually is. Press on for color changing disco mode. To select a color immediately, press the button. All right, so we gotta see how this works. So press on. Ooh. Oh, and then I guess we just like select the color. There we go, and we got green. And then we go through the colors again. Oh, I see. Okay. So, all right. So, if you turn it on, it's in disco mode. 
But if you want to select a color, you press the button and then cycle through and stop. So what do we have? We have, oh, and then it flashes red for you. Okay, so we have red, green, blue, red flashing. Red, green, blue, red flashing. Well, I guess we got to turn the lights off again. This is good. So work on my abs for the day. Here's disco mode. And it's flexible. So fiber optic-ish going on. That was a cool transition. So obviously we have an LED in here shining through. And if you were to hang that up, oh, I wonder which boy is gonna, who's gonna claim this one. It's gonna be Ethan. Aiden's gonna be interested in for a minute and a half until he plays Fortnite. And then, so then we can cycle through and then we get flashing red. Six bucks? No, okay. I could I could see it. Um, it'd be cool if this was removable and you could just um, use your LED. But I could I could see it. You know, if you would use a chem light, why wouldn't you use one of these? Um, why not? Now feeling yet yeah, unscrew that and there is our charger and this is rubbery so there's our water resistance um i'm not sure if this goes in like it or meh i definitely could see the usefulness in it i definitely can see the reusable factor over just using chem lights you know light sticks uh, it's this flexibleness that makes me feel it might snap one day but I'm going to put it snugly here between like it and meh, right there. Next, we're going to SOS Food Labs Emergency Water with an MSRP of $6. And I'll tell you what, I love this because in all these packages, sometimes we get, we get tons of emergency food. We get a lot of water filters, but how often do we get water, actual water to put away for an emergency? And this is what I'm always saying is the missing element. You get dehydrated food, you get no water to make it. We get water filters, there's no guarantee we're gonna find a water source. This is gold. This is like, if you get this box, take this. This is what you put in your locked Pelican case. Um, this is this is gonna sustain life. And we always we always learn in, in, in survival school, there's like, you can survive without food weeks longer than you can survive without water. Without water, in a matter of days, you will die of dehydration. Um, and your body can sustain itself without food for a lot longer than it can without water. This is amazing to have. Even if you have all of the fancy water filters, life straws and all that other stuff, until you get to a source where you can find, filter, and clean water, this can keep you going. Now, you'd have to ration this off, but how often do we see people giving us this, actual this, water in a, eat, and this is, what is this? So this is 125 milliliters. This is not gonna last you long, but this could get you from point A to water source. You know, if you're smart and, and, you, and you know a little bit about how to ration water for the bodies, you know, primary needs only i have to like this six dollars that's that's two dollars a package that is life insurance my friends right there that is a six dollar life you know life insurance plan two dollars at a time all of that fancy freeze-dried food won't matter if you dehydrate before you get a chance to get somewhere with water and make it um so now of course i know some of you are saying but what well, you know so some people will prepare and have water say no that's great if you do but this is awesome to have just in case you don't have that or can't get to it or whatever. I love these. And $6. Great. Awesome. Now we have the SOS Food Labs Emergency 1,200 calorie rations for $8. Now the first thing I think of five-year shelf life, the first thing I think of these when I look at it is how much water do you, how dry is this? How much water do you need to drink with this? to get this stuff down. Um, I tried one of these, reminds me of the old, I always reference this, the old MRE oatmeal cookie bar that's like eating compressed sand. I don't wanna open it right now because I wanna leave it packed up. 
but contains three food bars, 1,200 calories. So is that is that 400 calories per bar? Let's see. Yeah, 410 calories per serving. Serving size is one cookie. Wait, this is six servings per container. Serving size one cookie. Okay, I'm confused. So is each... Hmm. Contains three food bars, 1,200 calories. Right? Okay. Eat one food bar for serving, per serving, three times daily. But then we open this up. It says six servings per container. Huh? Serving size one cookie. I see three cookies here. One, two, three. I'm confused. I don't know. I will have to do further explain, further exploration on this. Maybe each one of these cookies is cut in half? Eat one food bar per serving three times daily. Six servings per container, serving size one cookie. I don't know. There seems to be a discrepancy to me in the instructions between eat one food bar and and six servings per container. I don't know. But the point is, the number one ingredient, by the way, in this is sugar. So this is all carbs. All carbs. It includes 30 grams added sugar, uh, six grams of protein. Total carbohydrates, 53 grams. So this is just to keep your body going until you get somewhere else and get some more food. Um, so this is great, though, because you don't have to add water to it. So you have your emergency water to drink. You have this to eat. This is just short term. This just gets, again, like I said, from point A to your next to where you get other stuff. But this is a little bit more meh to me than this. This is, again, going to fit in that neat space between meh and like it. But there we go. I really like the water, though. I really do like the water. And then finally, we've got another one of these. We've gotten a bunch of these so far. Hand turbine, AM, FM, weather radio. Uh, and is there such a thing as too many of these? Maybe at a certain point there is. Um, but I'm not going to sneer at having one more. And you know what? We've given one or two of these away on the channel over time. This one has a USB wire because we can... Oh, this thing's already turning on probably because of the solar panel. So not only do these things work uh, as radios, but also we can use them as power banks for other stuff because it's got the... Oh, this one has American Red Cross. I used to teach first aid CPR for American Red Cross. Um, has the hand crank. Generate power on its own. Has, I'm not. I'm not turning the lights off one more time. But if you have a weather radio and it doesn't have the hand crank, what are you going to do when it runs out of batteries? A little crank will charge it up, um, and it shows that the batteries are still charging now from the little the little crank I gave it. So that's cool. Um, now, exactly how this works, I don't know. I'd have to go, oh, power cell. Okay, so it has power cell, weather band, AM, FM. It's on USB right now. Let me turn the lights back off. Um, and then this. There's nothing to hear right now. Don't worry about it, folks. Oh, we are way at the end of the spectrum. I don't know. It's about as loud as it gets, though. It's lightweight. I like that it's lightweight. Um, does it have, and here is, headphone jack. Uh, it's got your USB. It's got power in. If you want to charge it like that. Let's see. Let's see any more specs on it. Um, glow in the dark locator. It's got a glow in the dark locator. So that's nice. Um, uh, da, 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 500 milliamp hour battery in there for you to charge up. I forgot what I was actually looking for right here. I forgot what I was looking for. What was I looking for? Oh, 
weatherproofing. Well, I would assume it has some. But I don't I don't know right now. So anyway, they give this an MSRP of $30, which is about fair most of the time with these little guys. Um, we'll put it back to sell so that it oh you look you can program a clock. I'm probably not gonna look into how to do that right now, but you know, maybe one day I'll figure that out. Probably just gonna put this back in the box and leave it for emergencies right now as we go. But usually I put these things in like it because they're just good to have an emergency and I already have like three or four of these. So I'll probably end up giving this away to somebody on the channel at some point in time. So overall, we're left with yet another box that is not that exciting, but you know what? Useful items. And look, that's probably, you know, much better than useless junk right stuff that we can actually use and that will get used and stuff that we know works works to do what it what it's for and that's why you know barrel and blade has 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 had really exciting boxes really cool stuff i feel like they've been slipping a little but i feel like this one is improving over the last couple because there's nothing in here that i would just toss and say like this is dumb I, this can't be used or this is just gimmicky or whatever everything in this box has a well-proven use if not to me to someone else you know uh there's nothing in here that i'm just like oh this is some tactical stuff that they threw in the box um i think everything in here is, is a solid chosen piece anyway and uh everything in this box will be made use of by me or i'm going to give it away to someone that will make use of it either on the channel or somebody that i personally know so i think it's a good box overall not the most exciting, but again, useful stuff. Useful stuff. And I think that's one of the points of, of getting things to prepare is, is that it's useful. Um, you know? So. And it's just ironic that I've got tornado warnings as this is going on and there's giant storms outside and here's this array to open up and look at. So, what do you guys think? What do you, uh, what do you like? What do you don't like? What do you think of this? Who's had experience with it? Or who who would carry this over a standard, uh, traditional, you know, full folding knife in their pocket? What do you think? I want to know your thoughts, guys. So Definitely want to know your thoughts. Now, I get this box from Barrel and Blade. They give it to me with the understanding that I will be honest about what's in it. And they've been very good about, about that, about understanding that I'm going to give them an honest critique. And to their credit, they have never... Not one single time called me up to be like, we didn't like what you said about the box. You know, they, they have been, they have a couple times said, hey, tell us more about item XYZ. And I think that they're, they try to put out a really good box. That's why they're one of my favorite boxes. Even though this is not a Patreon funded event, I want to thank my Patreon team for all the help that they give to bring content to everybody on the channel, to all of you guys, because we're going to see, uh, we for the rest of the month, a lot of stuff that they did fund and, and made possible, so thank you to you guys. Thank you to everybody out there that participates, that um, comments on videos, likes, subscribes, keeps this channel going, and has helped me build it up from nothing to where it is, and hopefully we'll keep building it up. I know it sounds stupid, but I'd love to have that cool little play button thing hanging on the wall one day. It'd be awesome, now that I see all these other channels like displaying them and showing off how much better than me they are those assholes no i'm just kidding some fine channels out there with a lot of good content i'd love to be among them but anyway i just want to let you guys know that i really do appreciate all the support that everybody has given me all of you guys out there just by watching these videos um you guys made this channel i just made the videos on it so thank you guys i appreciate every single one of you you are all absolutely awesome and i will be back again real soon